Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's time for a Project Pan intro 2024 Project Pan starting right now. This year I am, I'm bringing makeup back basically. Last year I didn't do a lot of makeup, it was very minimal. Mostly because when I started the project I didn't really have access to all of my makeup products and then by the time I did I was not really in the mood for it. I focused mostly on skincare and body care, hair care last year and I have to say um, although it might have been a little bit boring for you guys it was one easy for me and two my god I cleared out so many products and when I was prepping my project pan this year, I knew that I wanted to do a full face of makeup. That was like my big priority. I really need to get back into panning my makeup. But I noticed that a lot of like body, skin and hair care categories really didn't have a lot that I needed to focus on. So while there is going to be some skincare, body care and hair care in this project, also some samples, it's all stuff where I looked at my inventory and I said, oh my God, like that's getting old. I should go and check that that's even okay. And if it is, that's got to be panned. So that's what I'm focusing on this year with my panning. I am going to do a full face makeup and some body skincare, blah, blah, blah rolling project pan. So as things get finished up, I'm going to introduce something new. For the last couple of years, I've usually been doing a quarterly refresh, although last year that just didn't really work out. The quarterly refresh has been fantastic for me and I may still do it this year, but I'm also thinking I'm not going to do it. Mostly because I just really want to get these things done and I want to finish them as quickly as I can so that I can roll in new projects. New projects? New products. However, I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway there because if any of these makeup items start to get too tedious, too annoying or too boring for me, then they've just got to go. I've got to keep the project pan fresh. I have to still be excited about it because otherwise I will not use the products, especially the makeup items. So that's my plan for the year. I'm really excited to get this started. So let's jump in. Starting with primer, I'm bringing in the NARS Tinted Glow Booster. This is a beautiful product and it has an ever so slight like glowy sheen in it. It's not sparkly, it's just glowy. It's radiant, it's beautiful. It is definitely hydrating. I think there are certainly some oils in there. This, I put it on today, I've got to say, I've ended up with an extremely glowy selection of products in this project. That's okay with me. We are in the depths of summer here in Perth and it is hot as hell, but my skin is also so dry here. It hates the drier climate. So I think I will be okay. Also, I won't be using these products every single day um, when I am doing my makeup. I am going to help to keep things fresh with my everyday makeup drawer series as well. So this is going to be an option, but this is the one that I want to pan this year. She is basically full. I have marked it, but this is something that I can use all over my face as a primer. I can use it as a highlighter if I want over my makeup. I can also use this on my body as a glowy product. Moving on to my foundation. This is the Isa Knox Micro Foam Cushion in Silk Cover. So I panned one of these last year, but it was the, oh, I can't remember. What was the type? Yeah. Okay. So it was just a normal micro foam cushion. It wasn't the silk cover. So I've got I've got two um, and each like when you buy these sorry words when you buy these they come with a like compact in there and a refill so this one um, is fresh and new I've used it twice I am wearing it today she is glowy the light bouncing off of this makes me look like a disco ball, especially in this room with all of the lights around me. But when you powder it down, this is what you get. And I've got to say, I think it is fucking beautiful. I'd say the coverage is 
light to medium but so so enough like it is just enough it still lets my skin look like my skin um, it doesn't cover up every single imperfection which is fine I don't need it to I just want it to like even things out and make my skin look really nice it does that I'm excited to use this I was gonna bring back my foundation from last year that I was panning eventually I will but my god I needed to take a break from that okay because I've been looking at that bottle for a really long time my concealer is the magic away Charlotte Tilbury concealer in five medium there's nothing medium about this it is literally the almost exact same color as my skin it oh, i love the packaging because it's like you know twist up airless pump it usually does have a sponge i pulled that thing straight off like as soon as i got this i pulled it off i only have two concealers in my life at the moment this is what's left in there you can see still quite a bit of product it'll take me a little while to get through it the other one that i have is this one from pony effect it's a pro fit uh, liquid concealer. I don't love this one. This one I really really like. I am ready to buy a new concealer and my thoughts are that if I buy another concealer that I really enjoy this one I will get rid of like I will declutter it. So the Charlotte Tilbury is the one that I'm going to focus on panning and I'm going to allow myself to buy some concealers in the very near future. Moving on to powder. This is the only thing that I am bringing. No, it's not the only thing. This is one of the only things that I'm bringing back from my project pan last year. It's the KVD Locket Blotting Powder in the shade Light. That's what I have in there. You can see why I want to pan it. There's really not much going on in there. I am putting in a face mist, but I'm doing a mini one. This is a MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Setting Spray in Watermelon. So I have two of these, which is why this one went in the project. Once I've, I'm done with this, I'm not sure if I will bring another face mist into the project. I'm thinking I might just use what I have organically, try and get some, you know, progress across the board. Um, and maybe bring something in when I'm sort of close to finishing it and I want to, you know, whittle it down. Anyway, that's what's in there. It's had a little bit of use, but not much. Moving on to bronzer, blush and highlight. I'm actually doing a palette for this category. This is the Hourglass Illum Sheer Color Trio in Sunset. This is really... how old is this? I feel like I got this during the pandemic. I know that for sure because I bought it off the Hourglass website because Mecca, like Mecca are useless with getting new stuff in and I was just not even going to wait. Now, problem with this palette is the highlighter is just not really all that interesting. The bronzer is divine. Love it. The blush is quite pretty on my face it comes off more pink but I feel like it looks like quite a coral orangey blush there um, and the highlighter I mean the highlighter is pff, what it is very very subtle very soft it doesn't it doesn't do much um, so my thoughts with this one are the bronzer I will absolutely end up finishing first because I use it in such a large area on my face. The blush, look, I I use it but it only goes on like this area a little bit up and around here. So that's never going to get finished. The highlight, look, the highlight on the face, it's not bad, okay? It's not too bad but a lot of that is not actually this highlight. It is a dewiness from like using a, a cream blush and this and this um, and then you know rehydrating my face with this and also not powdering around this area so the highlight is not it's not much of anything really now I can use it on my body and I did today it is on my shoulders and my collarbone I do think it looks really nice so if I can remember to use it in that way I will but I think what's going to happen here once the bronzer is done it's going to go I'm just going to let it be done but I do really love the color story here I just yeah I feel like the blush 
it's too big. All blushes are too big for me. Let's do eye stuff. Uh, okay, I'm not panning any sorts of colored eyeshadow or eye products this year because I'm working on my eyeshadow panning, not panning, um, eyeshadow testing series. And th that's going to dominate my year. I don't want to put eyeshadows or like other sort of colored eye products into the project and then have it be a struggle to use one or the other. So I'm just not doing it. If the eyeshadow testing series gets sort of wrapped up, you know, mid or later in the year, then maybe I will bring something in to sort of kick off you know trying to finish something up but for now i'm just not doing it to myself it's too hard and i'm not stretching myself thin just for the entertainment of people who are watching me project pan uh, but i do have a couple of eye products in here so the ultra beauty matte eye primer in nude is going into the project i have used this a lot and i love it this is such a fantastic product if you have access to ultra beauty where you live we don't here. I mean, I could certainly, you know, have it shipped. I could get someone to ship it for me from overseas, but I don't need to do that. We have a lot of good eye primers here. But if you do have access to this, it's fantastic product. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I have had this one kicking around for a very long time, so it is time to finish it up. And also, I wanted to put something in that, I mean, this will probably take me all year to use what's left here. Like, it probably will. But it feels easy because it's mostly used up. I am putting two eyeliners into the project. I'm putting a pen liner. This is one that I've just cracked open in the last couple of weeks. It's a hyper sharp wing liner from Maybelline. Love this. This is like an old, old favorite. Um, this is the one that I used almost exclusively before the Hindash Hero Line one came along. From Linda Holberg, this is uh, one of the eye pencils. What are they called? I can't remember, but it's in the shade Calf Flash. Now, all of these Linda Holberg eye pencils, this is the last one that I have, I'm pretty sure they've all dried up and I decluttered them, except for one which was a colour that I wasn't really too into, I think. Anyway, this one is still okay and I want to use it. So I've been using it to tight line and line my waterline. I also like to put a little bit along my lower lash line, smudge it out just to bring a little bit of shadow back into that area. She is full, so this will be a challenge, but it's a really beautiful pencil, so I want to have a good go at it. For brows, I'm doing the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is in the shade 3.5. This one is too, it's not too dark for me. It's just not the ideal shade for me. That's what's in there. I have been, you know, on and off working on this one for a long time. I feel like I need to go a little, little gappy gap. Let's fill it in. What I do like about this one is that it is perfect for actually filling in gaps in my brows because it is uh, quite dark and basically the same color as my hairs. I see you in there, little gap. Ha, ah, gotcha. So that's the one I want to focus on first. Um, I'm also putting this in because I think it might be on its way out and I want to get a bit more use out of it. It is from the Quick Flick. It's the Quick Brow Brow Sculpting Lamination Gel. This is a really good product. I mostly use it for setting my brow hairs in place because it sets them without making them crunchy or weird and stiff. I don't use it to laminate my brows. Honestly, my brows have too much curve to them. Um, if I wanted to laminate my brows, I have to like do a chemical lamination. This kind of product simply doesn't work for me because like I said, my hairs are too curved. They, they've got some angles to them. Last makeup items, I've got a lip liner and a lip product. So Becky G Colourpop uh, Lippy Pencil in Monica. This is really nice, but I don't know. There we go. Look, the yeah, this is very common for um, Colourpop Lippy Pencils. 
This color is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I am wearing it today under this, which is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector in the shade 01. So it has had quite a bit of use. I've had it kicking around for a really long time. I love these. Usually around the holiday period, you can buy like a three pack of the minis. They're fantastic. Both of these in the project, just want to finish them up. Let's move on to other stuff. Now, last year, I did put all of my fragrance samples into my project pan, trying to finish them up. I made some good progress, um, but I didn't, I've still got quite a few. So I wasn't too sure if I wanted to put these in the project, but throughout um, like the last couple of weeks in January, what I found that I've been doing is not even looking at my samples, just completely ignoring them and totally going to the rest of my perfume collection and I feel like that is very easily going to become just what I do in 2024 if I don't purposely hold myself accountable to trying to pan some of these so they've got to go into my project pan now I've got um not too many these mini ones I've only got 11 and they are mostly floral street I do still have a couple of the Goldfields and Banks ones. I'm pretty sure there's only two in there though. And then I have these guys. Now, this is Caroline Herrera Good Girl. Um, I've got a mini here. I actually had two of these, but I ended up putting one in here because these little bottles, like without a sprayer or a rollerball, like with this, uh, no ma'am. I don't like them. I just don't. So I decanted it into one of these sprayers. And once this is done, I will fill it up with this and, you know, we'll be on our way. And I also have this. This is the Clinique Happy Heart Roll-On. Um, I think it's roll. Yep, it's a roll-on. Uh, I like this, but it's not like it's not a scent that I want to have you know, in my stash forever and ever and ever. This really reminds me of my mum. This is definitely one that I want to finish up this year. Every other perfume that I own, I'm kind of in love with at the moment. I just want to use organically. Moving on to body products. There's not a whole lot that I really feel like I need to tackle in this area of my life, but hand creams are still a bit of a problem and also shower gels. Now, when I was picking out a shower gel to pan. This was not the first one that I picked up. It wasn't until I actually looked at my inventory list to double check what I was choosing, whether it was like good idea or a bad idea, that I saw this and then I had to go and hunt for it at the back of my cupboard. Uh, it's a Skin Institute Gentle Cleanser. So this is, it's face and body I had this from back in the day when I'd have laser hair removal and I decided that this has to go before I start working on any of my other body cleansers. I want to uh, focus on my Lush shower gels as well, uh, not shower gels, sorry, shower jellies this year. Um, so once the Skin Institute one is done, I will move on to that. Moving on to hand cream, this is from Paul and Joe. It's adorable, I love it, but it's in a tin and it's a bit weird. I'm not really a huge fan of like things that are in pots or tins like this um, because the nails, like stuff gets under my nails and it's kind of gross. So I figured I would, oh no, I had makeup on there and I'm just rubbing hand cream all over it. Uh, so I figured I would put this one in and kick the year off with it and take a break from the other things that were in my project pan last year. Although, to be fair, like those things, there's not much left of them anyway. Skincare. Um, so I've definitely got to get through some of these this year. This is Bioderma um, Micellar Water. It's half done, which is great, but I have a whole nother bottle that is completely full and I do have some other micellar waters and like liquid makeup removers. And here's the problem. I don't use them. I don't like to use them because I have to use them with a cotton pad and to me that's a waste. I much prefer a balm or an oil that I can emulsify with some water and just wash off my face before going in with a secondary cleanser. So this year I want to really get through these. This is the one I'm starting with because it's half done. I do have more and I will probably bring them into the project 
at some stage. I definitely need to work on lip balms this year and look, this this one's just, I gotta, I gotta do it. Um, pot lip balms, probably my least favorite because of the nails. Uh, this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. It is my bedside lip balm. I do expect it to take me quite, ooh, quite a while to finish up, but I wanna make sure that it is done this year. I'm also bringing back these because if I don't, I won't use them and I've been ignoring them for ages. These are the Maison uh, Snail Repair Intensive Gold Eye Patches. I think I have maybe a dozen pairs left. So there's really not many in there, but yeah, I've got, I've got to do something about them. Really want to finish them up. I also have some other eye masks. Eye masks are kind of, I wouldn't say it's a problem category for me. It's just that I've got quite a few and I rarely use them. Mostly because I've been focusing on using up these tubs the last couple of years, but I think I can do better. So I'm putting in the Shantakai Gold Energized wait gold energizing eye recovery mask it's just, it's a single use mask which is really good and then i have the bio effect egf eye mask treatment so this is six pairs so there's six treatments in there for hair i look i've got a lot of hair products like a lot a lot a lot but a lot of what I have, I felt like it wasn't really right for panning. It was more right for organically using. However, I do still have a few products. This one is from Drunk Elephant. It is the Wild Marula Tangle Spray. This is pretty full. I don't really deal with like tangles a whole lot, but I can use this after I wash my hair. It'll be fine. Even, you know, post washing my hair when it's dry, just a little refresh. Uh, yeah, so I have a go at that. I love the mister on that product, but the product itself, like nothing to write home about. I wouldn't actually buy it or recommend it. In fact, I wouldn't buy or recommend anything from uh, Drunk Elephant. Elevating Massage Oil from Daviness. Um, this one has had a little bit of use, but um, my issue with this is like it's a... It's an oil for the scalp or the hands. You can use it as like a hand massaging oil. That's what they label it as. Um, but it is very difficult to get out of the hair. Like I had to wash, I used this yesterday as a scalp treatment and I had to wash my hair three times uh, before it actually started to foam up. So it's very difficult to get out of the hair. It does say that it's meant to emulsify. It does not, that's a lie. This is something that I wouldn't like, I wouldn't want to buy it again. I just want to use it, finish it up and then move on to something else. And finally, I have this, which I am not going through. These are the samples that I need to use up this year. I went through my sample inventory and basically pulled out all of the oldest products. So anything that I'd had kicking around for quite a few years, I was like, it's time to deal with it. Now, some of these are quite big, so it's going to take me some time to get through them. And that's fine. This is just what I want to do in 2024. These are the ones that I want to pan. Also, for anyone who watches my um, everyday makeup drawer, I put the Chanel water tint in here. I did. Also, I even used this in December and January. So yay me. So I believe there's 47 samples in here. As I finish things up, then I will talk about them in the video, but I'm not taking you through everything that's in there because I don't think we need to do that. So that's it for my 2024 Project Pan intro. I will be back every month with an update on how I'm going on these products. And as I finish stuff up, I will roll something new in. If you are doing a Project Pan or some other sort of panning project this year, let me know what your plans are. And until the next one, I will see you then. Bye.